For any framed structure, the total load of a slab includes the live load, floor finishing load and the self weight of the slab. This load is transferred to the beams which provide support to the slab and from the beams the load is transferred to the supporting columns. Then from columns to the footings and finally to the soil on which the whole structure is constructed. In this lecture, I am going to discuss how to calculate the load in slabs and beams. For illustration, let's consider a framed structure with three slabs S1, S2 and S3 which are supported by eight beams numbered from B1 to B8 and six columns numbered from C1 to C6. The size of each beam and each column is taken as 230 into 230 mm and the thickness of slab is assumed to be 125 mm. As we know, the total load of a slab is the summation of the dead load and the live load. The dead load includes the self weight of the slab plus the floor finish and it is to be calculated as per IS 875 part 1. The self weight of slab is calculated by multiplying the depth of the slab to the density of RCC. The depth of slab is already assumed as 125 mm and the density of RCC is 25 kN per meter cube. Hence, the total will be 3.125 kN per meter square. The floor finishing is assumed to be 1.5 kN per meter square as per the code. So, dead load will be equal to self weight of the slab plus floor finish and the total will be 4.625 kN per meter square. The live load will be calculated as per IS 875 part 2 and let's assume this as 4 kN per meter square. The total load of the slab will be equal to dead load plus live load. Dead load is already calculated as 4.625 and live load is assumed as 4 kN per meter square and the total will be 8.625 kN per meter square. For designing the slab, we need to multiply the total load with the factor of safety which is taken as 1.5. Hence the factored load will be equal to 1.5 into total load which will be equal to 1.5 into 8.625 and the total will be 12.937 kN per meter square. Now let's do the calculation for beams. As I have already discussed how the load is transferred from the slab to its supporting beams which depends on the type of slab whether it's a one-way slab or a two-way slab. If we talk about the slab S1, the aspect ratio that is ratio of longer span to the shorter span will be equal to 3.6 upon 3 which is less than 2 which indicates that S1 is a two-way slab. Hence, the load distribution will take place in both the directions and the load will be carried by the beams B1, B2, B6 and B7. The triangular loadings of the slab S1 will be carried by the beams B2 and B7 and the trapezoidal loadings will be carried by the beams B1 and B6. Talking about the slab S2, the aspect ratio that is longer span to shorter span will be 2.5 upon 1 which is greater than 2 which indicates that S2 is a one-way slab and the loads will be carried in one direction only by the beams B3 and B5. And for slab S3, the aspect ratio will be 2.5 upon 2.37 which is less than 2 which indicates that is a two-way slab and its load will be carried by the beams B4, B5, B6 and B8. Now let's calculate the total loads carried by each beam separately. The beam B1 will carry the upper trapezoidal portion of the slab S1 which is given by the formula W Lx upon 1 minus 1 upon twice beta where W is the total factored load of the slab which is already calculated as 12.937 kN per meter square. Lx is the shorter span and beta is the ratio of Ly upon Lx which is 3.6 upon 3. After substituting all these values in this equation, the load on beam B1 due to slab S1 will be calculated as 66.52 kN per meter. The self weight of B1 will be equal to area of cross section into density of RCC. Area of cross section is 0 0.230 into 0 0.230 and density of RCC is 25. On substituting these values, the self weight of B1 will be equal to 1.322 kN per meter. The factored self weight will be equal to 1.5 into self weight of B1 which will be equal to 1.98 kN per meter. The total factored load carried by B1 will be equal to load on B1 due to slab S1 plus factored self weight 
लोड ऑन बी वन ड्यू टू स्लैब एस वन इज कैलकुलेटेड एज सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव टू एंड फैक्टर्ड सेल्फ वेट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन एट सो द टोटल फैक्टर्ड लोड कैरियड बाई बी वन विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव वन थ्री किलोमीटर पर मीटर टोटल फैक्टर्ड लोड कैरियड बाई बी वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ किलोमीटर विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव वन थ्री इन टू स्पेन ऑफ बी वन विच इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एंड द टोटल विल बी टू हंड्रेड Now let's do the calculation for B2. The beam B2 will carry the right triangular portion of the slab S1, which is given by the formula W L X upon three, where W is the total factored load of the slab, which is already calculated as twelve point nine three seven, and L X is the shorter span of the slab S1, which is three meter. On substituting these values. Load on beam B2 due to slab S1 will be equal to 12.937 kN per meter. Since all the beams have same cross section, so the self weight of B2 will be equal to self weight of B1, which is 1.322 kN per meter, and the factored self weight will be 1.98 kN per meter. The total factored load carried by B2 will be equal to load on B2 due to slab S1 plus factored self weight of B2. and the total will be 14.917 kN per meter the total factored load carried by b2 in terms of kN will be equal to 14.917 into span of b2 which is 3 meter and the total will be 44.75 kN the beam b7 will carry the left triangular portion of the slab s1 which is given by the formula w lx upon 3 where w is already calculated as 12.937 and lx is the shorter span of slab s1 which is 3 meter on substituting these values the load on b7 due to slab s1 will be equal to 12.937 kN per meter the self weight of b7 will be equal to self weight of b1 which is already calculated as 1.322 kN per meter and the factored self weight is calculated as 1.98 kN per meter hence the total factored weight carried by b7 will be equal to Load on B7 due to slab S1 plus factored self weight of B7 and the total will be 14.917 kN per meter. The total factored load carried by B7 in terms of kN will be equal to 14.917 into span of B7 which is 3 meter and the total will be 44.75 kN. Now let's do the calculation for B3. Since S2 is a one way slab its load will be carried by b3 and b5 equally the load on b3 due to slab s2 will be equal to w lx upon 2 where w is 12.937 and lx is the shorter span of slab s2 which is 1 meter on substituting these values the load on beam b3 due to slab s2 will be equal to 6.468 kN per meter the self weight of b3 will be equal to 1.322 kN per meter and the factored self weight will be equal to 1.98 kN per meter the total factored load carried by b3 will be equal to load on b3 due to slab s2 plus factored self weight of b3 and the total will be 8.448 kN per meter the total factored load carried by b3 in terms of kN will be equal to 8.448 into 2.5 which is the span of b3 and the total will be 21.12 kN Now let's do the calculation for B8. The beam B8 will carry the left trapezoidal portion of the slab S3, which is given by the formula W L X upon one minus one upon twice beta, where W is the total factored load of the slab, which is already calculated as twelve point nine three seven. L X is the shorter span, which is two point three seven meter, and beta is the ratio of L Y upon L X, which is two point five upon two point three seven. On substituting all these values, the load on beam B8 due to slab S3 will be equal to 58.62 kN per meter. Again, the self weight is already calculated as 1.322 kN per meter. Factored self weight is 1.98 kN per meter. So the total factored load carried by B8 will be equal to load on B8 due to slab S3 plus the factored self weight of B8 and the total will be 60.6 kN per meter. The total factored load carried by B8 in terms of kN will be equal to 60.6 into 2.5 which is the span of B8 and the total will be 151.5 kN. Now let's do the calculation for B5. Since B5 lies between S2 and S3, 
in which S2 is one way and S3 is a two way slab. Hence, the amount of load transferred from S2 to B5 will be equal to WLX upon 2 and from S3 to B5 will be equal to WLX upon 1 minus 1 upon twice beta, where W is the total factored load of the slab, LX is the shorter span and beta is LY upon LX, which is 2.5 upon 2.37. On substituting these values, the load on B5 due to slab S2 will be equal to 6.468 kN per meter. The load on B5 due to slab S3 will be equal to WLX upon 1 minus 1 upon twice beta. On substituting these values, the total will be 58.62 kN per meter. The self weight of B5 will be equal to 1.322 kN per meter and factored self weight will be equal to 1.98 kN per meter. The total factored load carried by B5 will be equal to load on B5 due to slab S2 plus load on B5 due to slab S3 plus factored self weight of B5 and the total will be 67.068 kN per meter. Finally, the total factored load carried by B5 in terms of kN will be equal to 67.068 into 2.5 which is the span of B5 and the total will be 167.67 kN. Now let's do the calculation for B6. The beam B6 will carry the lower trapezoidal portion of the slab S1 plus the upper triangular portion of S3 and half the load carried by B5. The slab S2 will not transfer any load to B6. The load on B6 due to slab S1 will be equal to WLX upon 1 minus 1 upon twice beta where W is already calculated as 12.937. LX is the shorter span which is 3 meter and beta is the ratio of LY upon LX which is 1.2. On substituting these values, the load on B6 due to slab S1 will be equal to 66.52 kN per meter. The load on B6 due to slab S3 will be equal to WLX upon 3. On substituting these values, the total will be 10.22 kN per meter. The load on B6 due to B5 will be equal to half the total factored load on B5, which is already calculated as 67.068 and the total will be 33.534 kN per meter. Self weight of B6 will be equal to 1.33 kN per meter and factored self weight will be equal to 1.98 kN per meter. Total factored load carried by B6 will be equal to load on B6 due to slab S1 plus load on B6 due to slab S3 plus load on B6 due to B5 plus factored self weight and the total will be 112.25 kN per meter. Finally, total factored load carried by B6 in terms of kN will be equal to 112.25 into 3.6 which is the span of B6 and the total will be 404.11 kN. Now let's do the calculation for beam B4. B4 will carry half the load carried by B5 plus the lower triangular portion of S3 and its self weight. Load on B4 due to B5 is equal to total factored load on B5 upon 2. Total factored load on B5 is already calculated as 67.068 and the total will be 33.534 kN per meter. Load on B4 due to slab S3 will be equal to WLX upon 3. W is 12.937 and LX is 2.37. On substituting these values, Load on B4 due to slab S3 will be equal to 10.22 kN per meter. The self weight of B4 will be equal to 1.322 kN per meter and factored self weight will be equal to 1.98 kN per meter. Total factored load carried by B5 will be equal to load on B4 due to B5 plus load on B4 due to slab S3 plus factored self weight of B4 and the total will be 45.734 kN per meter. Finally, the total factored load carried by B4 in terms of kN will be equal to 45.734 into 3.6 where 3.6 is the span of B4 and the total will be 164.64 kN. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content and want to read more about it, you can check out my compiled PDFs on various topics which I discuss on this channel. The link will be provided in the description box of this video. Thank you.